it's beer o'clock on real ale craft beer and i think i found another special video for you guys here today so what do we have well i went down to home bargains yesterday and i picked up a bottle of innocent gun for one pound 69 now it comes in at 6.6 percent .6 abv in a clear glass bottle and it's 6.6% ABV, that's pretty good. Pretty good, so there's a look at it. I'm showing you all of this right now because I'm about to open a bottle of Innocent Gun, a boxed bottle, one year anniversary. This is described as a Scottish golden beer, matured for smoothness. Now, of course, marketing changes, branding changes over the years. I've not opened this bottle. Look at this. First year anniversary. Now, there's a story on the side here. Another story on this side. I. I was going to dust the top, but I thought, no, no, let's keep it authentic. So a 2004 edition that goes off in November 2005. It's 2024 reviewing this beer, so it's 20 years old. So here we go then. I just want to compare the two beers to see how over the years things have changed. The flea market probably charged me Ooh. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should have looked at this before I went out and bought the innocent gun over there because I do oh, blimey. Um Yes. Maybe this has gone. Maybe this has gone. Asian oak barrels traditionally used to mature malt whiskey. So, um, Innocent Gun, limited edition number one, Edinburgh. Dougal Sharp. Oh, I met Dougal in there. Beer Festival in the Great British Beer Festival. Oh, look at this. 5.3% ABV. 5.3% ABV. This is probably one of the only examples you're going to ever see of a beer as it kind of gets older in its life, goes higher up in the ABV. Usually they drop the ABV of the beer. Look at that. 5.3%. So let's do it. Let's do it anyway. I haven't reviewed an Innocent Gun for a long, long time. <laughs> Just look at that. <laughs> I was using these as a tool the other day. I'll tell you all about that later on. Oh, I had to strap them both together and fishing I was. Fishing for cabling over there. Right. <clears throat> Let's open the old one first. Let's do it. Little bit of a hiss. Nothing in the way of carbonation. Right, I'm going to pour that much because the rest is just utter. Well, look at that. And here is a fresh bottle of Innocent Gun. Still a lot of stuff written on the back of the bottle. The fact you can buy it in home bargains for £1.69 probably offers kind of testament to how popular the beer is. Um, I'm using two of the same kind of style goblet 
goblet glasses here. There you go, this is the fresh beer. It's completely different, isn't it? So it's oxidized then, so this, this bottle is definitely oxidized. It's been out the fridge about 10 minutes, so you can see the fresh one, lots of carbonation. The one on the right hand side, the 20 year old one is just, it's not really doing much at all. Right, okay. I suppose what we should do is get into the old one first because it's 5.3% ABV. I'm not really looking forward to this. It's definitely oxidized. It might be a bit rough. Oh, it actually doesn't smell too bad. Lots of toffee. And I've drunk quite a lot of old beer. I've drunk quite a lot of like beers that have like 20, 30, 40. I drank a bottle of Guinness that was from 1953. That's on the channel if you want to have a look at it. Oh. oh, that's not too bad. You're just picking up the quality malts in the beer. Oh. And, and the, you're still picking up. That's amazing. You're still picking up a little bit of the wood. You're still picking up a little bit of that kind of like woodiness and whiskey. Wow. Obviously the carbonation's gone. But it's pretty decent. Mm. Biscuity, malty, bready, lovely burnt toffee, creme brulee, creme brulee flavours, a little bit of wood, a little bit of whiskey. So the story with this beer, the story with this beer is they probably just, um, in, I'll tell you the story now, I'll read it out to you. In July 2003, we bottled our very first batch of Innocent Gun Oak Age beer. One year on, we are proud, right. Um, so they're not really saying what happened. So they were actually making a beer whiskey. They were making a whiskey that was infused with beer. Big, big Scottish whiskey company. And when they didn't want the beer anymore, that was kind of like infused. I can't quite remember how they did it. Um, when they, they were like discarding the beer, they were like chucking it away. And, and somebody in the production line at the brewery tried some of it as it was being thrown away. And he went, whoa, he went, stop, stop, stop. So they, 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 they turned everything off. They got everybody from the whiskey distillery there to come and have a taste of this whisk, this beer that they were discarding, they were throwing it away. And they very quickly realized that this now, of course, whiskey infused barrel aged beer was incredible. It was really, really good. So they, it it was an accident. It was an accident beer that, that is, I mean, everybody knows of Innocent Gun now, don't they? So let's, um, let's try. Let's try the, the, the fresh bottle from Home Bargain. 6.6% ABV, £1.69 a bottle. It smells an awful lot sweeter. The aroma is quite sweet. Completely different. Completely, completely different. That tastes like some kind of weird iron brew, lemonade type, syrupy, 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 syrupy. So this has changed massively. My goodness me, the difference in these two beers is unreal. Syrupy, sweet. 
not very nice actually not much not much of that wood coming through not much whiskey at all syrupy sweet liquid yeah much prefer the 20 year old bottle the original recipe the aromas the aromas are seconds like toffee the old one toffee malt biscuity bready fantastic new one it smells like a spritzer some kind of like sweet sugary syrupy mm. That is nasty. That is nasty. Let's put the, there's the new bottle. So we don't get mixed up. This original version is so much better. Mm. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Little bit of a rant then just to finish. And the rant is, why why do british brewers seem to think that we need all of this sugary syrupy sweetness in our beer it happens so much didn't it over the years it, it, it it's like oh the british nation's now got like an american sweet tooth so we must make everything really sweet that is awful that Innocent gun from home bargains is awful. It's not even really representing beer. It's just like a sweet sugary solution. The, the, it's terrible, terrible. This, however, 20 year old innocent gun is beautiful. Mm. So Dougal Sharp is the head brewer on the 20 year old bottle. Is there any mention of Dougal Sharp on this bottle? Is he still the head brewer? Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, <laughs> yes, he still is. Look at that. Look at that. Approved by Jeremy Houston. And this was was approved by McLean. <laughs> approved by McLean 20 years ago approved by Jeremy Houston Jeremy Houston must work for the for the Haribo factory Jeremy Houston going, yes there's just enough sugary solution in the new beer that we can approve this one and Dougal Sharp's probably like oh my goodness me in his office like oh why did we get this bloke on board the 20 year, 20 year ago Dougal Sharp would be, this is wonderful. <laughs> well done, well done Mr. McLean. Well done Mr. McLean for approving this one. Because this one's far better. <sighs> Original Innocent Gun, even being 20 years old with no carbonation whatsoever is a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. You're still getting the backbones of the beer. You're still getting the, the breadiness, the biscuitiness, the pure malts coming through. Pure malt beer. 100% pure malt beer from 20 years ago versus cheap, 20 years later, cheap, syrupy, sugary solution of, a, of, of an alcoholic drink. I, do, I, I don't even want to call it a beer. There's no whiskey taste whatsoever coming through there's no woodiness coming through from the barrel it's a mess really it's it's a it's a real mess um nine out of ten for the original one two out of ten for the two out of the ten for the new one i won't be drinking the new one it'll be going straight down the sink um lessons then in or maybe not a lesson, but maybe maybe fear of where we're heading in the future, where the beer industry is heading. Because I don't want my beer being sweet and syrupy and, 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 and 
full of glucose and all of the other stuff that they use to brew beer these days. I don't want it. I want pure beer. Maybe this has been brewed at a price. Maybe they, I don't know, maybe it's just a case of let's brew it cheap and I don't know. I don't know, but it's a shadow. It's a complete shadow of its former self. And I'm quite surprised, actually. I'm quite surprised. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.